So this ball of yarn is 100 feet long, and I want it to represent a million years. In other words, each foot is 10,000 years. Going back 10,000 years, each inch then would be about 800 years or so. A human generation would be just a skinny little sliver. It's a lot of human generations. Here is the dawn of agriculture. All right, right here. This is the beginning of agriculture. And yet we really consider agriculture, farming, to be the whole, well, it's the beginning of civilization, but it's not the beginning of being human. Here is written history at the end of that, and then the industrial era would be this teeny little, teeny little bit right on the edge of it. So that's an, this is an idea that I want to kind of knock out of our heads tonight, is that agriculture is not the whole thing of civilization is not what makes us human. It's a gloss on this at least 990,000 years of, of human history. And so really, our, that, that's, that's one of the big messages here. So anthropologists divide human culture up. Well, one way to divide it is, is five different human cultures based on the way we get our food. It turns out that food is actually the thing that distinguishes different cultures, the way people get their food, whether you're, I mean, the, the, the way that we've mostly, like up until some portion of this, this ball of yarn, was foraging, or the uh, popular word for it is hunter-gatherers. And this is the way animals get their food. This is the way, you know, most organisms do, is going out and find, other than plants, go out and find their food somewhere, bring it back, and eat it. So most of human history has had a strong element of foraging in it. Another way to get food is that human beings do is horticultural societies, gardening societies, essentially. And I'm going to spend some time on this a little later on and look at that because they're very interesting. And then agriculture, you know, this thing that happened after 990,000 years of human, human culture. Agricultural societies are quite different from horticultural and hunter-gatherer societies. So it's, it's very, a whole different way of getting food and it really, really reshapes your society when you get to agriculture. And then two others that are they're really a, a subset of agriculture because you need agriculture first, but they're quite different types of civilization, types of cultures, are pastoral cultures, which are those that move animals around uh, kind of usually nomadic, but they're, they're very, they're herding-based cultures, and they're quite different from the other sorts of cultures. And then the final one is industrial cultures, which are also a subset of agriculture. You need agriculture, you need cities and those sorts of things before you can really have an industrial culture. But those last two are kind of subsets of agriculture, even though there are strong differences between them. So these are the five basic human cultures, and they're very, very different 